The Liar Princess and the Blind Prince The Little Liar's Fairy Tale Once upon a time, a wolf with a beautiful singing voice lived in a deep, dark forest. Every night, atop a cliff, she would proudly sing toward the moon as creatures big and small roamed close by. One night, a prince from a nearby kingdom was drawn to the beautiful singing voice coming from the cliff. But he had no idea that the voice belonged to a wolf. What stupid prey, the wolf thought upon seeing the prince. I'll eat him when I'm finished singing. But when the wolf's song came to an end, the prince applauded her. Bewildered by the prince's reaction, the wolf completely forgot about devouring him. She was deeply moved by his applause. That was the first time she had ever been praised for her singing. The prince returned to the forest each night to hear the wolf's song. The wolf, in turn, would sing and eagerly anticipate the prince's applause afterward. This continued for several nights. One wintry evening, the wolf sang her song as usual, but after she was done, she didn't hear any applause. She pondered and wondered and glanced down below. The prince was climbing toward her so quickly. Maybe he wanted to see who the singing voice belonged to? He'll hate me if he sees me. The wolf suddenly panicked. She extended a large paw toward the prince in order to hide her beastly form but her claws accidentally tore at the prince's eyes. The wolf soon learned that the prince had lost his sight. His parents were ashamed of their blind son and locked him away in the castle tower. The wolf snuck into the tower and lied to the prince that she was a princess from a neighboring kingdom. She told the prince to ask the witch of the forest, who could grant wishes, to heal his eyes. But the wolf couldn't take him from there in her current form, one that only knew how to hurt others. The wolf traveled a great distance to the witch's house and exchanged her singing voice for the ability to transform into a princess. Beware of the moonlight, the witch warned. If you fall under it, you will immediately return to wolf form. The wolf returned to the castle tower, where she opened the prince's cell, transformed into the princess, and took the prince's hand in her own. The scared prince weakly grasped her hand in return. Let's go, said the princess. Make sure you stay close to me, okay? They entered the deadly forest to travel to the witch's house and heal the prince's eyes. And so, the journey of the liar princess and the blind prince began. The princess and the prince walked in the mysterious forest and soon decided to rest in a clearing. The forest was filled with various plants and fruits. The prince ate these fruits for the very first time. Princess, these are so delicious! The princess was happy at seeing the prince smile. Many dangerous things were also in the forest. A fanged monster even tried to attack them. Prince, watch out! The princess protected the prince, and she transformed into the wolf to brush the monster away. As they continued to journey deep into the forest, they took up shelter from the rain and rode on tree-stumped turtles. Fog settled near the lake in the forest. They dipped their tiny feet in the cold water and relished in the cool feeling. Splash! The princess dove into the water with all of her clothes on and spent some time playing around. They traveled around several more areas in the forest, including one filled with bouncy mushrooms and another with mind-boggling riddles. At one point, they came across a gorgeous field blooming with every flower imaginable. 
the prince adored the bouquet of flowers the princess gave him. As they sat overlooking the setting sun, the princess smiled at the prince, her heart bursting with happiness. Even though I gave up my singing voice, I'm glad that I became human. What trials await the two as they continue their journey? And will they live happily ever after? <laughs>